Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Car Review. My name is Saints Fan, and today we're talking the Zion Classic, the Ubermacht Zion Classic. This was the brand new vehicle, sports classic car that was released today, and it's interesting, to say the least. It's one of those cars where I, I think some car guys are going to love it because it's, it's a BMW and it's honestly one of the better BMW cars in the game, which is kind of sad. But on the other hand, if you are looking like for performance and stuff, you're going to find this vehicle kind of lacking. Although there are two unique things about this car. One of them is a meme and it's pretty damn funny. So obviously let's start with the price. It is $800,000. Yeah, that's a lot of money for a car like this. And it's still unfortunate, Rockstar keep doing this sort of stuff, but it is what it is. $800,000 for a sports classic that isn't really the best in, as far as performance. Like you're definitely not winning any sports classic races. I mean, it's not even close to some of the top tier sport classic cars like the Infernus and I think the Turismo classic. So for that $800,000, you're literally just spending that for the customization and the looks which are kind of good actually on this car it's got some decent customization some above average customization nothing like too crazy or too flashy but the customization options i feel like you could definitely make your car look unique which is always something i love with cars that rockstar release one thing and, and you can just see when we're in the the custom shop here the stock rims which is what is equipped I actually really like the look of them, and I don't believe there's another set quite like these stock rooms in the game, and I unfortunately don't think you can customize these. Like, I don't think you can use the glitch to paint them, which is kind of a downside. The liveries on this car are also really cool. Like, some of the, uh, you know, the beginning liveries are really nice looking, very simple, but they do look unique. Then you have some more of the, the racing liveries, and then... You have the memest, memeiest livery of all. The new anime livery. The waifu wheels. I think that's what it's called. And I don't know if you can tell. We'll take a closer look at this in a second. There's a freaking anime pillow, anime girl pillow in the back seat. That's what Rockstar decided to do with this vehicle. But you do have a primary and a secondary. No inside color option, which was a little weird considering like most of the cars nowadays have that overall though again the customization is is good you have some nice spoiler options and some roof options so you can make your car look good and then going back to the looks i actually personally love the look of this car like that old time classic bmw i think rockstar did a phenomenal job with that apart from maybe the back windows i almost think this car should have been a four door car it would have looked a lot better because the more you look at that back window the more you're like what in the hell was rockstar doing why is that window so huge i don't understand but maybe there's a reason for it who knows that's my only real complaint with uh, the looks of this vehicle everything else looks pretty damn good taking a look closer look at that pillow yeah it's only on the anime livery obviously but I believe this is like one of the only cars in the game that has some unique little feature like this. So if you are looking for unique stuff, then look, you got to go with that. But you have an anime pillow in the back that's actually buckled in. So a nice little touch there. So I guess if you are, are looking to get an anime girl pillow in your car, well, this is the car you got to go with. And I guess maybe, because I, I know maybe some people are doing this, collecting the anime livery cars, then obviously you're going to have to buy this to throw it in your anime car garage. As far as some of the other minor things like the interior and the sound of the car, it's, it's, it's kind of average. It's pretty standard across the board. Like the sound isn't anything special. The interior isn't anything special. First person view is not anything special. So you're not really getting anything special as far as that is concerned. Now where this car is a little weird is the handling and the performance. Now I'm not going to show you guys any tests like because it's a sports classic car. It's not going to be put against any of the other sports classic cars in no situation should you be doing that. So I thought that wasn't really relevant. But just driving it around in free roam here, you can see it's actually it's decently fast. 
But it's almost one of those cars where it's not as fast as obviously some of the other ones, but that's almost a good thing because you're not crashing it. You're not losing control a lot. You're not hitting those bumps and then just completely spinning out. And that's good. Obviously, the downside, because it's like every other regular car, if you're in a free roam public lobby, you might get blown up because there's no armor at all. And if people are chasing you, you're probably not going to outrun them because it's a sports classic car. The handling, on the other hand, is it's not terrible, but it's not, I guess, as great as I, I would have hoped. You don't, I, at least I didn't really lose control that often when I was driving it. But I was trying to drift a little bit more with this car than some of the other ones just because it is a, a BMW. It's a sports classic. Usually with these sort of cars, you're looking to buy them to have some fun driving it around. And usually that involves drifting around corners and stuff. And this car didn't really drift that easily. So I don't know if that's something that maybe a different setting or performance option could change. But I, I did fully max out the vehicle so everything was upgraded. It just wasn't really drifting like I thought maybe, or at least I, I, like I wanted it to. One of the other unique features, though, that's not specifically unique to this car, but it is only available on a few other vehicles in the game. You can stance or slam this vehicle very easily. All you have to do is shoot the, the middle of the tires, assuming you haven't put bulletproof tires on. You can slam it, stance it, whatever it's called, and that will lower the suspension an extra two notches from the lowest suspension that you can actually buy. Now, if I remember correctly, normally that meant that you actually gained a little bit more speed and you kind of spun out more. But I don't know if that's or if this car has some of the new handling features or mechanics because I didn't really notice it that bad. At least from what I remembered when you used to be able to stance like the Fudo and stuff. Those cars would actually go super fast and they would spin, slip all over the place. But with this one, when you stance it, it didn't really affect it like those other vehicles. I mean, it looks great when you can drop the suspension. So if you're going for looks, then yeah, that's awesome because you can drop the suspension. It looks much nicer, but you're not going to really be gaining much as far as like driving it goes. So I did just want to mention that you can stance it very easily, but you're not going to be gaining, at least I didn't gain any of those extra sort of b perks or bonuses that you normally gain when you stance or slam vehicles. I would say overall, this car is one of those cars where if you purchase it, it's not going to be a bad purchase. I'm not going to say to go out and purchase it because this is definitely something for a specific type of people. Like this is going to be thrown in your garage. It's not going to be really driven very often. Might be a car show type of car. But for what it is, it's not bad. Again, like it's got some good stuff on it. The unique features. I mean, the freaking livery with the pillow in the back. You're not getting that anywhere else. Of course, in the comment section below, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this vehicle. But I think Roxanne did a good job with it. So thank you all for watching. So to do it for this video, please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA Online content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.